So scary doll, it's scary. And it's important to me. It's important to everybody. But we now have to do our segment of scary doll, which can be much better than last time we did scary doll. And feel free to comment during scary doll time. And it is scary. Pay attention to this scary doll. This is a segment. It does matter. Pay attention to the words, people, because it's truly prophetic. If I was the soccer devil in the United States of America, if I was that parent contradiction to the beautiful game, I would put a veil of darkness over the sidelines. If I was the soccer devil, I would take much of the real estate and convert them to baseball fields. But I wouldn't be happy until I seized every facility with soccer fields and made them multi-purpose with long jump pits to shorten the width. So I would do anything and everything that was necessary to take over the beautiful game. I would take over the state associations first and begin a campaign of many rules with wis- the wisdom of the devil. I- I'd seek control by expensive mandatory education programs, followed by fines and probation. I would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to administrators to create bureaucracies of plenty. To the little ones, I would scream from the sidelines what to do. I would convince the parents that they know best and they must provide lectures to their sons and daughters in their car ride home. I would teach the importance of winning every Saturday is more important than learning through failure. I'd create multiple national titles so competition would be weakened. I would create leagues of entitlement so others cannot compete. I'd spread rumors that you cannot make it in club or that club, but only my club. If I were the soccer devil, I would have soccer clubs at war with themselves, state associations at war with themselves, and every sideline at war with themselves, so they were all consumed with anger. If I was a soccer devil, I would make promises to families that their sons and daughters would play professional, or college, or be on the national team. If only they were coached by those with special A's and sometimes B's, I would use social media to post a half-truce of success. I would spread rumors that dribbling was bad and long ball was good. And with the old, I would attack with words of hate that soccer is only played a certain way in certain states. If I was the soccer devil, I would establish organizations with many rules to deny kids from playing high school because it's not cool. I would educate that tactics matter with a five-year-old and technique was an afterthought. I would make the beautiful game about the coach and not the player. I would make the cheapest sport in the world the most expensive. I would import coaches from other countries that have a history of failure to be our educators to break up families by sleeping with the married and embarrass the youth with their witty jokes of sarcasm. If I was a soccer devil, I would educate the importance of being identified at Expensive ID camps, ODP, and call showcases versus developing them, their technique, and their very own home. Over time, as our national team continues to fail to perform and quality at the national stage, I would impl- implement more of the same and elect more of the same. I would make soccer clubs so profitable that there is no reason to change. I would appoint the same leadership to the highest positions and allow nepotism to seize control with their halters and friends. If I was the soccer devil, I would spend millions upon millions on GPS systems, heart rate monitors, and lawsuits of equal pay. If I was a soccer devil, I would go after the talented ones by never punishing them for bad behavior to avoid losing on Saturday to to this point. Work ethic and discipline would be non-existent with our most talented. In other words, if I was the soccer devil, I would just keep on doing what we're doing. Scary doll, good day. And that's our show. I love Scary Doll. Scary Doll is very dangerous. You can find us on iHeartRadio, Google Play, iTunes, or wherever else podcasts are found, or go to coachcamera.com for direct access to our content. We'll see. We'll be back next Sunday, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Comment, like, Be part of this podcast. 
I will answer every question that comes up that's not spam or inappropriate. But this is Coach Cameron with another eh, average show, episode 686. We'll be back next Sunday for episode 687. Peace. If you enjoyed that clip, you can enjoy all the clips at youtube.com forward slash Coach Cameron Soccer to get all my content. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know what's going on and when we appear online, which is typically every Sunday, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Hope to see you this Sunday for our next live show.